Hey guys, so um, on one of my videos, my How to Draw a Fashion Sketch video, I got a comment from someone asking me how I get the clothes um, to look like they're being worn by a person. So how I get, you know, the the changes in the fabric to look like they're being blown by the wind or, you know, just to have the presence of a body underneath that fabric. So um, I actually tried to do a video where I was drawing how I did it, and to be honest, you can't really see anything. So I'm just going to show you some sketches in my book, and really basically all you do is like add a couple of extra lines in, so I'm confident you guys can do it just by looking at the sketches. So um, I pulled a few from my book, and let's start. Okay, so the first one, this one I kind of wanted to give the illusion that almost like you can see from behind. It's like someone's walking on the runway. So what you want to do with the bottom is if you want this illusion of someone walking, um, think about what month muscles are going to be tensed. For instance, um, you see here one foot is behind the other. So that means that this leg is going to be pushed back. So the fabric above that leg, that butt muscle is going to be tense. So the fabric above that is going to dip up a little bit. Likewise, um, when she's facing the front, she just turned around and the fabric's laying in place. Well, what's going to lay in place first? This chunk in the middle and then the sides are going to be up, you know? It's almost like she's twirling and these parts are kind of fanning out and the middle is going to lay first. So there's an example of that. My next example is if you have some uh, tight skirt and um, a blousey top, how do you make that distinction? How do you make it look blousey? Well, here's an example of how. You see that the waistband of the skirt grips the body, and I made this one really skinny, I don't know why. Um, it grips the body really tight, and then the shirt hangs over it. And what you just kind of do is make two curved lines like that, and it's gonna hang over it. Then I also wanted to show you how to bunch the sleeves. Now, like, I mean, it's super easy to show bunched sleeves and cuffs. Um, all you do is make like little squiggly lines where you want those sleeves to bunch. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's a fashion sketch. The whole point of fashion sketching is not to be an artist. It's just to show what you need to show. For instance, you know, anyone who looks at that is going to be able to say the fabric bunches here, you know, the fabric bunches here, that's a blousey top. Um, then the skirt has ripples, like little pieces of fabric fanning out from it. You can see on the back side too. And basically all I did was draw a straight line and then just make a little S curve to show those pieces of fabric flowing out. Um, really, if you want to add fabric, you know, detail and you want to show the differences in fabric, just have a picture in your head of what you want to do and just draw it on there. Um, kind of make it make a distinction though, you know, if it's like this, we kind of brought it out to the side so they could see how that silhouette and that line looked. And then we did it also on the side. And then you can also mark it with words, you know. I have like ruffled hanging draped pleats right here. So when I look at that, I can remember um, what it is I wanted to say. Okay, the next one is to show if a skirt is pleated and if you have like some pleats that hang lower than others. Now the easiest way I've found to um, show pleats is, again, you see like that blousey top. But then just to make lines where you want your pleats coming down. Because, I mean, when you look at a pleated skirt, you can see the lines. And in the crevice of the pleat is where you're going to have it darker. You can really go and shade it if you want. But I would suggest just making lines. Fashion sketches aren't perfect. So that's where it's going to be darker. And then um, when you look at something pleated, normally it gives the illusion that the front, front pleats hang down a little more than the side ones. Um, just because the sides are being pulled up. So I kind of draped it, did like a square, and then went up and finished that pleat. It kind of stops in the middle, but then I like brought it back in again and hung that piece down and then did it again. And I did the same thing for the back. Okay, my next two outfits are to kind of show how it falls, you know, depending on how your model's standing. So what you really want to look like is the posture you made of your model. So like this one, you can see this shoulder's lifted higher, this one's down. Well, if this shoulder's lifted higher, um, and you have this hip pushed up, so it's kind of like that, then what's going to happen? The skirt's going to be pushed up, right? 
So then you see how our skirt just kind of tapers down. And um, the, the viewer then can imagine when it's straight how this skirt will fall straight, but it's kind of tapered down. The same thing goes for this. You see this shoulder is up really higher, and this one we actually did it traditional. So this shoulder is lifted up, and this hip is lifted down. Um, so then this part of the skirt lies longer. Um, again, we have that kind of flowing to show that it's blousey. Um, if you want to show a blousey skirt, the best way is to make a little ripple in it because you almost want it to seem like wind is caught up under it because wind can't be caught up under a tight skirt. You know, it can be caught up under a blousey skirt. So that's kind of how you make that distinction. And um, when wind's caught up under something, you know, you can see a little bit of the underside right there. Okay, this I wanted to show you on shorts again, how it falls. So we have the raised shoulder, and this time our hip is raised as the same shoulder. It's kind of like tilted to the side. So our short is raised too. Um, you want to look at, you know, if one leg, if she's kind of popping one knee, so it's down more, and she's raising her leg, you're going to want that, that leg of the short to be a little bit smaller. And then you're going to want the line that goes up into her crotch to be longer on this side um, than on this side because there's more of a distinction um, up higher. Again, you're going to want the shirt to then hang diagonal just like the shorts, and you're going to want the waistband of the shorts to do the same thing um, to tie it all together. Okay, this one um, again is another one. You can see the crotch line higher on this one. You can also see I did a blousey shirt on this one. Sorry, I had to get the phone, but um, so you can see I did a blousey shirt on this one, and um, this shirt, the sides kind of hang longer than the center. So, you know, we just brought the sides a little bit, and to make that blouse, we just, you know, went, we marked where her chest was, and then you just kind of go A-line out from that. Um, to show that there's some different fabric manipulation on this one, I just drew lines across it. And then my last one, um, this is another thing, you know, if the shoulder's raised and you want to show the flowy dress and you almost want it so like her hand is, is doing something to the fabric, um, you can see that we lifted a portion right here. And what it's kind of, kind of like imagine, if your hand is on your hip, what's it going to do? It's going to dig into the fabric and create a little pleat there. So we just kind of made it a pleat. And like I said, pleats are easy shown you know, with lines, which is what we used, and then at the bottom, too, so you have this one hanging, and then it lifted up a little bit. And then you can really see, okay, this is lifted, her hip is lifted, her shoulder's lifted. Um, since the dress is A-lined, and she's so lifted, we also wanted to do a little crease here. So you see, like, it goes, goes, and then it creases out, because, I mean, the dress is still A-lined. But you can definitely see that her body under it is coming along this line. Um, it's just the dress that is hanging off. And again, we did some pleat lines and darts up here. So hopefully that will help you guys a little bit. Um, really, my suggestion is just to play around for it with it. You know, um, do it a couple times. There's no hurt in trying something new. And to um, really envision in your head what you want the garment to look like and how it's going to lay. So, you know, just picture model walking down the runway. And I mean, even study, study models walking down the runway and see what happens to um, the clothes when they turn or when they have one foot in front of the other. And that's really going to help you um, get that look you want. And it's all playing around. Um, you don't have to do any shading. You don't have to do, I mean, anything like that. You can if you want to. But um, it's not necessarily. It's just playing with lines. So um, hopefully that helped a little bit. Um, good luck drawing. And make sure to check out my blog, www.matefashion.blogspot.com, for more fashion tips and tutorials. Thanks. Bye.